Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I will be doing a skincare product review and this is by Youth and this is the retinol eye cream with hyaluronic acid for wrinkles. Um, so supposedly this is good for um, bags, puffiness, dark circles, all that stuff because of retinol. This is my first, I think, retinol eye cream that I've ever tried. I'm always very iffy with retinol because um, I always, I don't know, retinol is very intimidating for me. I feel like retinol is for somebody that is like 50, 60 years old um, or older. Like I feel like it's not even a type of skin. It's more of the age, which is very, very strange because the rest of like skincare ever since I've discovered Korean skincare, um, it's always catered to the type of skin, never the age. But I don't know why I always have like that kind of stigma for retinol. I don't know. I must have seen like an infomercial. You know, like when you see an infomercial with your mom and and your mom wants to get it or your grandma wants to get it, something like that and you kind of associate it with that. I think that's probably what it was. Um, so it says, best eye cream, youth retinol eye cream, an anti-aging eye moisturizer, eye brightening cream, works with anti-wrinkle, um, under eye brightener and puffiness treatment at night. So just so you know, this is only for the nighttime because retinol can only be used at night because your skin gets very very sensitive for it. It's like a vitamin C, but this retinol um, is has a similar reaction to light. So you have to be very very careful. Do not use this during the day. Um, what I've noticed is that it glides on really well. It has it has more of like a citrusy scent to it um, and a little bit goes a long way. I've also noticed that because my skin is extremely dry, I've noticed that when I use this, I actually need a secondary eye cream on top of it um, because I've never seen it before when I use this. And then my, I forgot what I did. I think I smiled or something that I noticed like it was kind of scary. My, my skin underneath my eyes weren't flat. It was like it had a ton of veins popping off so I was like it just looks really really dry so I just added another kind of eye cream on top of it and it was fine um I didn't have an allergic reaction or anything bad that happened to my skin and my biggest concern was it says right there hyaluronic acid right there and depending on the company on how they derive the or or how they use or how they formulate their hyaluronic acid there are times where hyaluronic acid as an ingredient can make me break out this does not give me any kind of negative side effect in regards to breaking out having a rash or itchiness at all so nothing like that the only time that i've noticed was that handful of times where my skin just looks extremely dehydrated it could just be a combination of this and also dehydration or just my skin is just super dry um, so that's just what happens. Even with like the hyaluronic acid, it still dried me up. But that was like, let's just say a maximum of three times, right? Thing is gone. Use this more than like five times. So I would say it was such a small incident, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I'm always honest with everything that I test with you guys. So I wanted to always share that. Um, so if in case you try this out and everything's great and like in a month that kind of happens, I would just suggest just have, because you're going to have a day eye cream anyway, to just put that on top and then you're fine. You're good to go. Um, so with this, um, this didn't, what I've noticed is that my under eyes, it was lighter in color. It's not as dark. This did not get rid of the crow's feet at all. And, um, I didn't notice more fine lines under, uh, underneath my eyes. So all in all, I'm still looking for my Holy Grail eye cream. Um, I think the worst part is just my crow's, crow's feet. Everything else, like my eyes weren't puffy, my eyes, um, didn't have fine lines or anything like that so it works really great if you're not battling with crow's feet um then this might be the perfect eye cream for you but just so you know you still need a day eye cream because this cannot be used during the day so i would give this a four to five stars and a two thumbs up it works great um 
I'm, I think I'm just the most finicky when it comes to eye cream. It just, I, it needs to fix everything the way I want it to. But I think our eye area is always, it has like, I think the thinnest skin. So it always has the most problematic problems like eye bags or puffiness or, or darkness or fine lines or crow's feet versus like the rest of your face. Um, so I think that's why it's always the hardest to treat. So there you have that. If you have other products that you believe I will probably enjoy trying or testing out become a holy grail, let me know down in the comment section below. I always love hearing from anybody's suggestion. Um, if you try this out and you want to share your experience, if it was better or worse or the same as mine, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, I hope you enjoyed my review. You're going to hit the like. You're going to um, open my description section. Check out what I got in there and try to connect. And also, if you're curious and you want to check out my necklace, um, I'll link it down below with the coupon code. Thank you, everyone, for the love and support. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you again next time. Bye.